Hey guys, how's everybody doing? I hope you guys' this day is going well. Today's uh, topic of discussion on Patriots offseason talk is going to be the one and only so-called decline of Tom Brady. And whether or not we think it's here or he's still going to be playing at a high level and uh, how much longer he can continue to do so. So this is a hot topic among a lot of Patriot fans because this year, you know, we, we had a lot of ups and downs this year. The, the uh, you know, we, we lost a lot of games that, that, you know, we shouldn't have lost. Let's be honest. We should not have lost them. We should have gone into Tennessee and we should have beat the hell out of them. And we should have, we, you know, the, we shouldn't have lost against the Jaguars either. The Jaguars did an absolute number on us. So, and uh, the Steelers as well is another one. We we should have we should have beat the Steelers. We should have won that game. Uh, Tennessee as well. I, don't, I forget if I said them, but Tennessee like there is there was a lot of stuff this year that happened that was very unpatriot like, and it starts in the off season when you like look at Brady in the off season. I don't you know for those of you who don't really follow the Patriots. I'll give you a little uh, kind of background. This this whole off season, Brady Brady started the year out by skipping the uh, the voluntary OTAs and the and also the uh, the mandatory ones. He did not go to one. Uh, no, wait, hold on. I take that back. He skipped the voluntary OTAs, which in the past he has never done. He's always showed up and he's always been there, even if it's voluntary, even if it's, you know, he's always been there. It's something that he, he just the way he works, he, he gets all the, the time he can in with his, with his receivers and with the people he's basically going to be, going to be throwing the ball to or any, anybody who has to work with him. He wants as much, he, at least in the past, he wanted as much time to develop as much chemistry as he could before the season got rolling. This year it was the complete opposite. Anything that wasn't mandatory, he didn't show up for. He he was in Spain throwing the ball, throwing a football around with, on some stupid guy's yacht over in over across across the ocean. It was he it it was very unpatriot like for him at least. We're not used you know we're used to you know when mini camp starts and when all that stuff starts. Brady's there. He's always been there and. So that for us as Pats fans was was different to see. And then uh, bet- there was a lot of talk in the off season about uh, the just the the uh, the Super Bowl hangover, the the whole Malcolm Butler thing. It was it was still being talked about, and it was still you know being floated out there by by lots of Patriot beat writers that that Brady was was pissed. He was not happy about losing that Super Bowl and. There's, you know, there was a rift with uh, Kraft and and Belichick and just the offseason was full of, it, was, it wasn't, you know, people weren't talking about what they were supposed to be talking about because, you know, they weren't focused on football. They were, they were talking about all these other issues because that, that Super Bowl loss had a lot of, there was a lot of drama surrounding it and it, up, up until the Super Bowl win this year, it kind of didn't, you know, it didn't really get put to bed, even, even the, the Super Bowl this year, they had a lot of people still talking about, you know, will this be a revenge year? Will this be a redemption year for them since they, they, you know, since the Pats, you know, kind of gave that game to the Eagles and lost lost to the Eagles. Um, so I people have asked me a couple of they've asked me a couple of times my my opinion on it. Do I do I agree with what do you you know do I agree with that the decline is coming or is it already here and and uh, I I tell them well I was disappointed with a lot of those games just like any you know like any other Patriot fan you you go into those games and there are games that you can you know just from previous experience and how the games have gone in the past you know you can kind of tell how it's gonna go you know that Steeler game just like any other time we play the Steelers it should have been it's going to be really close it's going to be a tight game because they know each other so well. And, you know, one or two big mistakes and and it costs, you know, it's going to cost either team the game. The Steelers are one of those teams that always play us well. They always play the Patriots well. Just like, I hate to say it, but Miami always plays us well. For some reason, they're a thorn in our side every year. 
And that Miami loss was heartbreaking. I mean, I don't know. I still don't know what the hell Gronk was doing out there on the last play of the game. It should have been. It should have been Harmon. Anybody. Any. Any. Even a. Even a third string defensive back. Anybody who. Who. Anybody else but him. But I digress. Anyways, let's get back to this topic. So. So. Um. The. You know. I personally do not think. I have a little cheat sheet here, guys, in case. You know, wonder what I'm looking at. I wrote a couple of little of you know facts that I you know stats that I found interesting down. So when people ask me, I tell them I was disappointed. You know, with the you know a lot of those losses, and I think we should have won a lot of them. And and you know, the first person you look at is in the losses. You know, well, how how the quarterback play? How did how did the team play? Did they did they play like crap? Did they play good? It it's you know. So you have to look, you you know, you immediately kind of go to those focal points of the offense or defense in a game. Now, I wrote a couple of uh, stats down because to me, when I answer people, I, I say, well, you got to look at the numbers too. It's not just the eyeball test is one thing, but you have to look at his numbers as well. And this year, Brady's, you know, well, I'll give you a few of his numbers that uh, he threw the ball 570 times and and completed uh, 375 of them, which for a, this is, now these are regular season stats from uh, profootball.com, I think. Uh, So he threw the ball 570 and completed 375. That comes out to 65.8%, which is really good. That's anything over 63 is, is a pretty good, is a pretty good quarterback. So, um, and he threw for, uh, 4,355 yards and he had 29 touchdowns to, uh, uh, 11 picks. So that's the, those aren't bad numbers, you know, but they're definitely, I mean, Brady threw, I believe last year he threw for 32 touchdowns and eight picks. Um, he was on an absolute tear last year. It was insane. So this now, speaking of Brady's uh, consistency and, you know, people say, well, you know, at some point it's got to go down. Well, the last 18, I mean, the last 18 seasons, it's, it's been pretty damn consistent. The last, the last time Brady, I, I wrote this one down, the last time Brady threw for under 62% was 2003. And it was 60.3%. His career, Brady's career, sorry guys, his career is, uh, he's a 64% career completion uh, percentage, um, which which I thought was was crazy. Um, and moving, you know, and then, and then I looked at, well, all right, well, how let's, let's look at how many uh, the, the games played the, you know, the games played and started over, you know, over the last 18 seasons. So I looked that up and I went from 2001 to 2018 and his, the only time he missed, he didn't start every game, all 16 regular season games was two seasons. And one year was 2008 and he tore his ACL in that year. So you can't even really count that. So for 17 out of the 18 seasons, the only one is the 2016 season because he got suspended for Deflategate. He started all every game, all 16 regular season games. So you can't. I mean, it's you have to appreciate the consistency that the guy has shown, and it's never fluctuated. That's the crazy. The craziest part about this is his stats have always been very. It's you know between 60. Between 63 and 66 percent, except for that one year, it was really high that he had Randy Moss, and it was like a 70.08, which is insane. Um, the guy has been a pillar for consistency throughout his his uh, career. It's it's been incredible to watch, and us as Patriot fans, we we should definitely appreciate that. You should appreciate because at any day. You know, especially at this age, at at forty one, going on forty two years old, he takes one big hit, and and uh, you know, let's say tears an ACL or a bad back injury. You know, that could be it. It could end in a heartbeat. It could end like this. 
you know, you, you know, so you got, you should definitely have to, you know, you should definitely appreciate what you're, you know, watching even, even non-Patriot fans. You have, I mean, hate the guy for his success and hate, you know, hate the fact that we're in it, you know, that we're in the Super Bowl. you know, I think it's, we've been to nine of them now. So it's, I mean, just hate you guys, you can hate on it, but it's, the consistency and the drive and and the 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 guy is a is a maniac when it comes to being uh just just being who he is he 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 lets he feeds off of all that stuff telling him that he can't do it he feeds he did it this year they they turned all the that negative media at the beginning of the year into billboard material and they went and they won the super bowl so with all that being said, guys, and all the stats going down there and how it's it's never really fluctuated, it, it, it's you have to say it's it's not. The end is not here. It is not. He is still gonna be good for the next two years. And and there's you know, he'll he'll more than likely retire a pet and he's he's all he's at this point it's just kind of padding the stats. So the decline is not happening. Unfortunately for the rest of the league, we are still America's and the NFL's worst nightmare, and we will continue to be as long as Brady leads the Patriots. All right, guys, as usual, good talking to you, and I'll see you later. And as, and as always, go Patriots.